Well, because of the large and destructive wildfires of the last few years, insurance companies have been hiking rates, refusing to write new home policies, and in some cases, dropping some customers completely. California Insurance Commissioner Ricardo Lara says help is on the way in the form of new regulations, but consumer groups say they're not going to help. These regulations are not going to get people more coverage, but we're all going to be paying more in insurance premiums, a lot more in insurance premiums. Jimmy Court there of Consumer Watchdog is accusing Lara of, quote, backroom deals with insurance companies that harm Californians. With more, I'm joined by insurance expert Carl Sussman. He hosts the podcast and syndicated radio show Insurance Hour with Carl Sussman. This is your wheelhouse. Good to have you. Thank you. And we have this ominous backdrop, which is a reality for so many Californians, right up against a, a, a foothill that is fire, high fire risk. Uh, getting back to what we heard from consumer watchdog uh, Jamie Court why is he wrong you know Jamie's a good guy I think his heart is in the right place and uh, there are plenty of things to debate about so I'm always a little puzzled when he's when he's talking about things that are actually not in the regulations his biggest point seems to be that he believes that the regulations are going to permit insurance carriers to be able to use black box models which allows them to determine rates without providing justification for them but as it turns out, the regulations literally have language in them. I, think, I believe it's called the PRID. It's the Pre-Application Required Information uh, Determination. Wow, I remembered the name. <laughs> and But they'll say it 10 times fast. And what that does is it requires every carrier, if they're going to be using some of these models, to put in complete display how they're utilizing it and what those rates are going to be based on what common factors there are. It complies with Proposition 103 and Insurance Code 1861.07. It's, it's really good. And so I'm always a little puzzled when I see people that know this stuff talk about it with a jaundiced eye. Okay, so in layman's terms, what will these regulations, because when people hear regulations, that's, that's usually a negative. So what will these regu regulations equal? How will this make it better? And a lot of people who are watching tonight, their home insurance, they were dropped completely. Right. Well, insurance companies make money by writing insurance. So if they're not offering policies, their first thought should be, well, they obviously can't make money or they would be doing it. So the regulations that are in place right now that have put us in this position, that's sort of the law of the land, right, are regulations that require insurance carriers to do certain things and, and require them to treat everyone in a more homogenous way. The new regulations are going to allow the insurance carriers to provide a more granular experience. So you might have one type of rate based on the characteristics of your house. Your next door neighbor could literally have a substantially different rate based on things that they do to their house. And again, I think that that makes for a more competitive marketplace, more flexibility, but not everyone is a fan of that. They want people that are in you know, heavy brush areas to be paying the same rate as someone that might be in the middle of the city. And we're not going to see that with the new guidelines. Okay, but that's what we're seeing right now. So just off camera, you made a great example out of the 90049 zip code, which is not far from where we are in West LA. This is Brentwood. We know the Getty Center there. So currently everybody in that zip code is is having sky high rates regardless if they live down by San Vicente away from the more wildfire prone areas the new regulations will mean that if you live closer to San Vicente away you'll be paying cheaper than less than than those who live right against the foothill it's, it's exactly right and okay. what happens right now is everyone has to be lumped into that zip code they're not able to differentiate between the two and, and insurance companies though that currently drop you because you live right against the foothill they're they're willing to do that high risk well this policy. is the other interesting part of the new regulations the new guidelines require insurance carriers to write more business in these areas that are higher fire risk it's sort of a I think it was Reagan that said it you know check and, and believe and verify or trust and verify they're being told you have to write up to 85% of the business that you're writing in these high fire area places and in exchange for that we'll allow you to utilize these new tools and these new guidelines to be able to pick and choose rates on a more home by home basis versus by zip code so it's going to put more options in those areas that are actually in the brush you testified yesterday in Sacramento we have about 30 seconds left uh, public comment was also allowed how does the public feel about this because this is a hundred percent done deal come January 1 well the rates are the guidelines are supposed to go into place by the department by the end of the year and most people that understand the mechanics of it are very proactive and they're very eager to have them done. I think there's a lot of concern because people don't like change.
Yeah, and this would be the largest reform of the insurance industry in a few decades. Easily, by yes. Far. Okay. Uh, he is an expert in the insurance field, Carl Sussman. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Thank you.